So Jake Paul has beaten Mike Perry via sixth round TKO. And yeah, um, disappointing stuff, uh, to be fair. I actually predicted Mike Perry to win. It was, yeah, it was a dumb move of me, I'm not going to lie, but I mostly did it just because I just hate the idea of this Mike Tyson fight. I knew deep down Jake Paul would win this fight. And he did. Um, really disappointing overall, to be fair. Overall, I think Mike Perry is one of the worst opponents Jake's actually had overall, to be fair. And it, it, it's disappointing to say that because I do really like Mike Perry. But at the end of the day, it was just too easy. And, you know, it's it's boxing at the end of the day and it's not it's not bare knuckle it's boxing and you know mike perry does not thrive mike perry does not thrive in boxing simple as that he just walks into too many big shots and you know obviously he had his ribs cracked open early on it's because he i mean you know he had his elbows high up in the air guarding his head no body defense no head defense so you know jake paul was just able to pick him apart jake paul dropped him early in that first round and it was just like, oh, it's just all this shit again, uh, fighting another MMA fighter. And, you know, because they don't have they don't have the overall boxing skills. They're strikers at the end of the day. You know, in bare knuckle fighting, it's striking, not boxing. You know, boxing's the, uh, you know, boxing's the sweet science. And, I mean, you know, Jake Paul's skills are far from the sweet science. But, you know, when you're up against uh, an MMA striker, you know, you're going to look half decent. But at the end of the day, though, Jake Paul didn't even look all too good, if we're being real. He did not look all too good. Um, he was getting hit a ridiculous amount. He's, Jake Paul has got zero defense himself, if, 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 we're, if we're being honest. Leaves his chin wide open. You know, it's just like whenever he tries to move his head and throw, he misses every time. He hasn't really got the footwork. I see many people saying, oh, Jake Paul's jabs improved massively. But Mike Perry was just walking right into the shot. It was just... It was just there. It was just there, though, wasn't it? Just, just to be thrown because Mike Perry was walking into it. How's it gonna like? What would that jab be like against an actual moving opponent? We've already seen it. It's non-existent. It was non-existent when he fought Tommy Fury, especially when Anderson Silva showed a bit of movement. The jab was on. Uh, the the jab was non-existent from Jake Paul. But when someone's walking right into it, it's going to be there. Uh, and and yeah, Mike Perry was there for the taking with that jab, and Jake Paul was able to pick him apart with it. Get that right hand going. I mean, you know, look, Mike Perry's got a fantastic chin, as he showed, as we know. But it was just too easy. And, you know, Mike Perry just wasn't really able to close the gap down. I think I gave him round three or something like that. Because he closed the gap down and was landing, you know, decent shots. Because Jake Paul let leave himself ridiculously open so much. He's not even area level, if we're being honest. That's the, you know, that's the big reality. Jake Paul's not even area level. Um, you know, if, well, if we're talking you um, like you can British boxing wise, but at the end of the day, it's it, it was just shocking to watch. It, it was just shocking and painful to watch. Like, you know, I'm not sat here massively ranting about it, and you can tell I'm not ecstatic about what I've just watched. But because it was not great, it was just Mike Perry walk, consistently walking into shots from Jake Paul. Of course, Jake Paul is going to be able to pick his shots well against someone who's just walking into the shots. Of course, he's going to be able to pick the shots well. People saying, oh, what an incredible performance by Jake Paul. Of course, he's going to look good. Of course. Like, I don't even know how much... Uh, for me, overall, he has not improved since that Ryan Borden fight. He has not improved since that Andre August fight. He's not improved since any of those fights. He's not. The reason why he, he looked all right tonight is because Mike Perry is is tough and can take and can actually take shots, but was just also walking into the... Just, to shots. He was there to be hit always. Jake Paul literally couldn't miss apart from when he moved his head with the jab, which he missed. And, you know, he's not a high level guy at all. As he says, it, it's just, it's just embarrassing overall. He's the scum of the earth, the way he's going on, wanting to take that Mike Tyson fight. Well, it's official, isn't it? He's probably brutally going to knock him out because he's, you know, because Jake Paul's on the, on the juice. So of course he's going to knock out a six year old Mike Tyson when you're like 20, 26 years old on the juice 
you know, of, of, of course. But the bloke is very hittable, though. So you never know if Mike Tyson can land something on Jake Paul, which I don't think is overly likely because I don't think it would go long. I think, you know, once Mike Tyson gets hit, it will be done. But if Mike Tyson can take some shots off of Jake Paul, and if Mike Tyson can land, he can knock Jake Paul out. It, he, he could. But uh, that's a slim chance of that happening. If, he, if Jake Paul fights any, I, I mean any, you know, area level boxer he loses he he loses to any area level boxer he is not at that level couldn't even beat tommy fury got completely outboxed and outskilled by tommy fury this is jake paul's level he's fighting mma fighters is jake paul's level mike perry was just walking into shots there to be here and overall jake didn't mix he didn't mix things up as well as he could have overall in that fight, if we're being real. He still managed to look really sloppy against the man just walking into his punches. That's the thing. And, you know, Mike Perry w was able to, you know, expose a lot of gaps in Jake Paul's game. And Mike Perry got dropped bloody two times in that, well, three times in that fight. He got dropped three times overall in that fight in six rounds and was still able to expose Jake Paul, uh, the gaps in Jake Paul's game. Quite a bit. And it's, it's embarrassing for Jake Paul. He's a very, very, very low-level boxer. Um, but, yeah, for Mike Perry, you know, it's a shame. PKFC is his thing. But, yeah, um, overall as well, talking about Jake Paul's call-outs, obviously called out Mike Tyson. Well, obviously it's official, but, yeah, joke of a fight. He called out Alex Pereira. Alex Pereira would absolutely murder Jake Paul. Honestly, it would it would end up not even being funny. Alex Pereira would absolutely destroy Jake Paul. He would time him fantastically with that lead left hook and get him out of there. Alex Pereira is, you know, he's obviously the current UFC light heavyweight champion, a former kickboxing world champion. You know, the guy would beat Jake Paul. His timing's fantastically good and his power is unreal. Alex Pereira would absolutely destroy Jake Paul. It probably wouldn't even be funny the, the way it ends in, to be fair. Honestly, Alex Pereira would, would absolutely wipe the floor of Jake Paul. Jake Paul doesn't want to go near that. Also, stop calling out MMA fighters, though. Fight boxers. Don't fight, um, don't fight Mike Tyson. He's 60 years of age. He's about 30 years past his prime. So... Yeah, I just I just don't get Jake Paul, to be fair. I just don't get him. But I'm, I'm not sat here massively ranting about it because what's the point? The fight with Mike Tyson's happening. Um, he, he beat Mike Perry, even though I predicted Mike Perry to win. But I knew deep down it would have bloody happened, to be fair. It was obvious. Mike Perry just, he was walking to shots. And when you do that, it's not going to work in boxing because obviously, as I said, BKFC, you know, you can, you, you can swing for the heavens against, you know, against other strikers but when you're up against someone who can box you're not going to well in jake paul who can box a bit you know you're not going to you're not going to get far because you know jake paul can put his shots you know like he can put shots together that that's the thing he's jake paul's not a striker he he can box but he's a very 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 low level boxer who would not go far in the sport if he actually tried to take it up properly but he's spoiling opportunities for everyone and yeah whatever anyway thanks for watching this video king i'll speak to you in a bit thanks for watching peace out